Hey guys! Hey, hey, hey! Black Ops 2. Week 2. Yeah. Lots of twos. Assassin's Creed 3. That's not a two. That's but that is two. good. It's a good game. That's damn good. Been I've only played that. the multiplayer because I'm not buying my Xbox at the moment. I am. I but have I have my game. Player. I have my game and it's unopened and ready to be used. So I could give spoilers away throughout this Don't video. You, you wouldn't know. Don't you goddamn dare. Don't you <laughs> goddamn dare. But today we're talking about creative class and weapons. In Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 2. Yes. 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 So, should we just get started? We might as well. All right. This year we are going by the pick 10 system. Pick 10. Pick 10. Which means you have 10 allocations. 10 allocation points, for example. Okay. Out of a maximum of 20, which is just a skeleton. So you could have like three perks, but obviously you lose out somewhere else. Right. Yeah? Yes. So there are 20 slots, but you're only allowed to fill 10 of them. Okay. Yeah? Yes. And you, these 10 elements include... Each one of these is a point. Point. Primary weapon, secondary weapon, attachments, grenades, tactical grenades, perks, wild cards. We keep Wango cards. I have no idea what that is. It sounds cool, though, doesn't it? It does sound pretty <laughs> damn awesome. It's almost like you have a lisp, and you're trying to say Wicked Rango. No, no, I'm definitely trying to say Wicked Wango card. All right, then. Yeah. Five default classes, as always. Mercenary, operative, heavy gunner, specialist, well, recon have names. sniper. These are the... These are the... First five classes that no, you the unlock at the, at the start. Like the, the ones level at the one. The level one. So when you're level one, you can yeah. only use the classes they give you. Yeah, yeah, These yeah. are those classes. Okay. Yeah? So now I'm going to take you through a typical class, which is the mercenary default class. The mercenary. Yeah? Yes. Each of, each um, allocation is a point, and you're allowed ten, remember? Yes. Yeah? So yes. the Type 25 assault rifle, one point. That's, okay. Reflex sight. Has a sight. That's the attachment. That's the attachment. Second point. Second point. Third point. Third point. Secondary weapon FHJ 18AA, <laughs> which is a launcher, a rocket launcher. For shooting down aircraft or just. For I think it's shooting. shooting down aircraft. Let me just have a little quick look. It is vehicle lock on only. Only vehicle? So what is that include? That's aircraft? aircraft, yeah. Okay, so okay, that's cool. But no free aim, basically. Um, point four and five are both on perk one. So, it's like so this is ghost and lightweight, yeah? Oh. So you can perk both. Two, yeah. We're going to get to this again. That's um, tier two, cold blooded. Tier three, dead silence. So we're at seven points not now. Not dead pool. No dead silence. Seven points. Eight points is the grenade. Ninth point is the black hat PDA. <gasps> you can have hats. Oh hey, that's <laughs> awesome. No, awesome but hats. it basically allows you to do hacking and re-rolling. So and you don't like, get a black. No, no hacking enemy hat. equipment and care packages. No hat. So and that's what's missing from this game. Yeah, hats. I think. Classes will probably have helmets on, don't they? Ah, and then the last the point thing. is perk one greed, greed, which is the wild card it gives you so that you can have the two per tier one perks. Yeah? Okay. So that's a typical class. And yeah. now we're going to go through every goddamn gun in this game. I'd have to look at you. I thought I said pot of greed, not perk one greed. <laughs> <laughs> Banned. <laughs> All right. Um, start with your primary weapons. Which are the assault rifles, some machine guns, light machine guns, shotguns, snipers, and special. You said shotguns wrong. It's shotguns. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you, Sarge. You're welcome. So, assault rifles. Just we'll call start me with them. Just call me Haytham. Start with assault rifles. Um, the first one I can see is the M8A1, which is a four-round burst gun. Oh, four rounds. I thought you could choose if you had bursts or not. You can, but this one starts off as a four round burst. Did you choose later? To later on, you can have your attachment. Which oh, that's I an believe, attachment. Yeah, is it? it's cool. Choosing bursts. If I can find it, attachment. <laughs> I cannot find it with all my paper. Um, it is the. Oh, oh, I've just seen that. Look away, <laughs> look away. Um, oh, God, I cannot find what it is. Ah. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did you enjoy the opera set? Select fire. Select fire. Oh, select fire. That's the attachment. It. That's the attachment. All right. That took a long goddamn time. All right. Next gun, Scar H. Fully automatic, increased damage and range. Oh, I know what the Scar is. Yeah, you know what the Scar is. AM94, is fully automatic. But this is brand new because the first two rounds from this gun are fired faster than the rest. Well, that's weird. So when you start shooting, the first two come out quickly and the others get into the normal slow that's that nice so it'll go yeah okay which is completely new we haven't had that before no it sounds weird and unnecessary 
It might be very helpful though if someone comes up to you and you can get off faster than them. <laughs> <laughs> and the next gun is the SIG556 or the SWAT556. Different sources have called it different. You and your sexual references. Um, three round burst, this one is. Um, just a typical three round burst, like the FAMAS and the M16 was. Yes. Next is the Type 25, which we mentioned earlier, fully automatic, high rate of fire. The next is the SA-58, or the FAL, OSW. Oh, the Again, we back. don't know which one it's called. It could be either different sources have called it a different thing. Oh. And it's semi-auto, like the FAL. So right. it's probably going to be the FAL OSW, with right. light recoil. Can you put a flamethrower on it? No flamethrowers in this game. <gasps> SMR, the semi-automatic, but it's got the highest damage per round in the category. Oh. of assault rifles so it's probably going to be a big hitting foul basically okay M27 fully automatic higher mobility reduced recoil so that's probably going to get quite a lot of use okay um, and the final one is the MTAR which is fully automatic and versatile and strong now I don't know which order these are um, unlocked in but those are all the assault rifles alright as well all the assault rifles on screen they'll be seeing the um statistics for these guns okay cool so they're on the, you know the little boxes with yeah, the, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, next is shotguns four shotguns in this game Shotgun. which is quite a good amount I think is, is the AA-12 in it no oh we have the R870 MCS Terry Crews will be upset he would be but he's not in the game indeed apparently Robert Downey Jr. is um, pump action strong damage and good raid so is Charles Lee who <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> and the M1216, which is fully automatic, like the AA12, oh, hey. but you have to reload every four shots. Oh, so it will it will AA just AA go bang, 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 bang. Extended mags on it. Yes. Oh, you yes. should be able to. The Sega 12, I think we had that in Modern Warfare 3. We also had that in about the 90s. Okay. Sega. Spelled differently, but okay. Ah. And it's another semi automatic normal shotgun. And then the KSG or KSG 12, and it's a pump action slug shotgun, which again is completely brand new. It oh. fires one big F off bullet. <laughs> <laughs> which apparently is better for range. Oh, yeah. But not so good up close. So a bit like a, a grenade launcher. Yeah, I guess. It's a shotgun grenade launcher, I guess. But it doesn't have an area it's of ex a thump. Just thump. Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be an instant kit, basically one hit. One You'd hope kill. so, wouldn't you? Yeah, that if sort it of thing. doesn't, that sucks. And it, but then, we don't know. It might just be like the stakeout was. Everyone thought it would be really good, but then it miss hit sometimes and you don't get kills mm -hmm. when you should have. You don't want to misfire. Oh, don't get us on to misfires now. What was it earlier? What was it earlier, the other thing you were laughing at? Oh. I don't think you want to go back to that and get <laughs> no, back we into don't. that. Like machine guns next, um, MK48, which is fully automatic with good range and damage. QBB LSW, fully automatic with the highest rate of fire. Oh, well, there you go. The LSAT. That's your M60. Is, what is? The highest rate of fire one. The LSW. No, what? Oh, what the M60 didn't have the M60 highest rate? M60 had of the biggest ammo capacity. Oh, not right, the there you go. The BFG. <laughs> If you don't know what that is, that's the M60 with extended mag. Yeah. The LSAT, which is fully and automatic. A and a grip. All right. Fully automatic. It's useless if it didn't. <laughs> versatile and strong overall, which would be like the bog standard LMG, what it seems to be. Okay. And the hammer. That sounds cool. Which sounds cool. Is it? It's fully automatic. And now this is another brand new thing, which is the band. It starts off fast, but at, over time of shooting, it slows down and becomes more accurate. Okay. So, ac so you've got less of a fire rate to kick back. Yeah. Okay. So it starts off fast, but then the more you fire it, the more likely you can take off further okay. range people, which is quite a new... Sounds, but sounds, sounds quite sounds interesting. Fun. Also, you can get some lightning from the sky. Yeah, and then Thor comes down and yeah. just smashes you in the face, fly yeah. across the map, 360 no scope, and you win. Yeah. Um, 360 no scope brings us nicely onto snipers. Oh, hey, there you go. There is the ballista, which uh, is bolt action. Which I think is sounds like a crossbow. One of two bolt actions. It's not a crossbow. <coughs> it's a sniper, and it's deadly from the chest up, and it's more mobile. This is also the only gun in the the only sniper which can have iron sights attached. Hey. So like World of War, where you can like, go around with 
everything but the PTRS with iron sights. That was that German sniper That was the rifle, right? big, big metal abomination. <laughs> <laughs> um, the SVU-AS is next, which is the semi-automatic high rate of fire and lower recoil. Okay. So that's going to be the spammy reload. 360 no scope, 10,000 shots. That's all. Oh, I like the one, like the like sharpshooter class. The WA 2000. Cop 4. Sharpshooter? Yeah, sharpshooter. Oh, yeah, class like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like like, that I like, I prefer that class in the postman, I believe. The other one. The other sniper class that was just like. Oh, yeah, that's the big motherfucker gun. Yeah, I PTR. Prefer, no, I not PTRS. The other one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, DSR 50, bolt action sniper rifle deadly from the waist up. So, that no, should, not just that's the a chest. powerful one. The XPR-50, which is semi-auto, deadly from test up. So if moderate. I were to shoot someone in the hand, they would die? No. The hand counts as different parts to the body than the chest. Right. Now, the one special, this is the thing you were really excited about, the assault shield. Da, 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 da. This is like the um, <laughs> riot, shield. riot shield from Modern Warfare 2 people. and Modern Warfare 3. But this one you can deploy. Yes. And then hide behind... Is this a primary weapon? This is a primary weapon. Oh. So you'll be using your secondary weapon to fire afterwards. Okay, and you can use anything for your secondary weapon. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Should be able to. <laughs> and then finally, my favourite, submachine guns. Oh, yes, there we go. Um, no MP5, so, so you're a sad I'm already though. upset. But they have the MP7. So that's going to be your next best. No, I don't know. The Scorpion, <laughs> the Scorpion Evo or the PDW. The Scorpion uh, makes it in. We'll, we'll, we'll just get to it. MP7, fully automatic, versatile. Versatile. Versatile, versatile and strong the Scorpion Evo 3 this is the one I was just saying okay. which is fully automatic with the highest rate of fire but it looks a lot like the MP5 from its picture oh the PDW57 looks a lot like the P90 I'm trying to remember what that is it's the little gun which had 50 bullets in a round and shoots really really quickly it wasn't the Mac 11 no this is one of the, this wasn't in Black Ops this about was the, uh, in Modern Warfare gun Modern Warfare series oh yeah because I totally was all on right, board with all that. Right. Fully automatic increased range and the largest ammo capacity, so it is probably the P90. Chicom CQB. It sounds like a Native American tribe. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Everything's an Assassin's Creed reference with these things. This is another new thing three round fire submachine gun. A, s- what, a burst, a fire, burst fire submachine gun. But it has less gap between the bursts, so it'll be rather than. If you see what I mean. There's going to be quicker bursts. Sounds like a car stalling. Okay. But there's going to be a smaller gap between the bursts. Okay. So that's the difference between that and assault rifles. MSMC, which is fully automatic, increased range and less recoil. Oh, that the sounds The Vector like... K10, which was in Modern Warfare 2 and I think Modern Warfare 3, which is fully auto... And in Sonic. Vector. Oh, the crocodile. Yeah. yeah. Fully automatic, but it has recoil mitigation technology. Okay. So that should counteract <laughs> recoil, I think is what it's trying to say. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, attachments is what's next. Alright. Oh, Remember, these all count as one point. Okay. Point. Okay, yes. Point. Point. ACOG. ACOG. That makes it back. It's enhanced zoom. That's your sight, yeah. Slower um, aiming down sights. Adjustable stock, which is faster movement while ADS, while aiming down sights. Oh, okay. Which was a perk in Modern Warfare 3, but it's now an attachment. All oh, right. The ballistic CPU, I think is for snipers only, and it means you have less weapon sway. So your shots are more likely to be easy to okay, aim. Okay, yeah, So you yeah, don't okay. have to hold your breath as much. <gasps> um, yeah, just do that for the rest of the video. Dual band, which is night vision with a thermal option. So it's a sight with night vision and thermal. Dual wield, which is the same as a Kimbo. Extended clip, 50% extra ammo capacity. Fast mag, which is like dual mag, fast reload every other time. FMJ, better bullet penetration. Four grip, less recoil. Grenade launcher, it's a fucking grenade launcher, nothing else to say. Hybrid optic, which means you can swap between red dot and ACOG. <coughs> this is getting a lot more efficient when you require. Um, iron sights for only the ballista, replaces the scope with iron sights. Laser sight. Which works like steady aim. Steady aim. So that's not a perk now. That's, I know that's the attachment. I know what steady aim is. But it does make you more visible because people can obviously see your laser. Or laser. laser. Very lasers. Long barrel, which is for shotguns only, which is increases weapon range. Well, hey. Millimeter scanner. While aiming down sights, this is the noob finder. Scans through materials up to 25 meters away. 
Yeah. So when you're looking down your sights, you can see through thin walls and okay. get a heat signature. So you've got X-ray vision. Yeah, basically. Quick draw, which is increases your aiming speed, which was what you had from Sleight of Hand Pro in Black Ops 2. Okay. In Black Ops 1, sorry. Um, rapid fire, 20% weapon fire increased speed. Love rapid fire. Reflex, which is the new name for Red Dot. Do not have Red Dot sight anymore. It's not, it's called Reflex. It's oh. the same thing. Oh, okay. Um, Where'd Reflex go? Reflex is gone. Oh, okay. Um, suppressor, which is quiet, uh, reducing yeah, weapon flash, no radar was... shot. Um, tactical knife, this is an attachment. Yeah. Which is really weird. Which means you can carry a knife in your off hand for faster melee. So, pistols or whatever. I don't know what you'll be able to attach that to, because they haven't really told us Imagine yet. Imagine doing with a submachine gun. Imagine doing that with a heavy machine gun. <laughs> No. Um, target finder, which when you aim down your sights, it identifies enemies and highlights them in red for your team. Yeah, so that's the teamwork gun. And the variable zoom, which is for snipers only, multiple level, or zoom. Yeah. Secondary weapons now. Oh, okay. There are two classes of secondary weapons. There's launchers and pistols. Mm-hmm. There is no crossbow, not special class, like ballistic knife sort of thing. Ah, uh, screw the ballistic knife. So the launchers are the SMAW, S-M-A-W, which is free fire and vehicle knock-on, the FHJ-18AA, which was in the default class at the start, which is vehicle knock-on only, oh, the yes. RPG, which looks bloody awesome now, and that's free fire only, and the crossbow counts, counts as launcher. Oh, crossbow's in it? Yeah, and it fires explosive bolts again. Cab so there's no... Boom! <laughs> dead. Cab boom indeed. Do you know who shoots a bow and arrow? Um, Legolas. Connors. Yes, he does. Pistols, the Cap 40, which is fully automatic with this recoil mitigation again. Um, the TAC 45, semi-automatic with high damage at close range. The B23R, which is a three-round burst pistol with high fire rate and moderate recoil. And your favourite, probably, is going to be this, the Executioner. That sounds awesome. Which is a massive F of pistol. <laughs> a no, double no action... No Desert Eagles. No Desert Eagles. Ah. But this is a double action revolver which fires shotgun shells. Ah. So shotgun. you'll probably love that thing because it's a shotgun and a pistol. And the 5.7 which is just a normal looking pistol. So it's semi-automatic versatile and strong with a large mag. This is a long ass video. It, it is a long ass video. Um, lethal grenades. There's the grenade which is the same as always. The combat axe which is like the throwing knife or tomahawk. Yeah, he uses a tomahawk. Connors? Yeah. Yeah. Semtex, which is the same as always, C4 the same as always, Bouncing Betty the same as always, and Claymore, which is the same as always. The Bats are Bouncing Betty. That was from World of War. If you oh, the it. thing that pops up and goes kaboom. Yeah, Bloom. so it's like a Claymore, like a Claymore, but it has a circular explosion rather than just One Direction. Which, why? Okay. Oh, shout out to One Direction. <laughs> 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 um, tactical Grenade. Why would you say that? I said it and just thought, why not? Um, smoke Grenade which is the same as always. Concussion grenade, which is the same as it was in Black Ops. Yeah. EMP grenade, which Go destroys home. enemy equipment and low-flying air support. So if you fly something too like close to the ground, yeah, like a drone, it will take that down, hopefully. Or a Valkyrie rocket. I don't know if Valkyries are in it, but we'll find no. that out next week in the um, gameplay game types um, perks video. Perks thing, whatever. No, perks isn't this. This is coming out now. I mean, kill streaks. Yeah, yeah score streaks, I mean. score streaks. Sensor grenade, which is similar to motion tracker, but is limited because it's a grenade, not a Throw equipment. Grenade. Um, flashbang, same as always. Shot grenade, which we saw in the original multiplayer reveal trailer, which electrocutes and stuns nearby enemies. Oh, wow. Now here's your black hat PDA, which, you yeah, yeah, yeah. On, which hacks enemy equipment and care packages. It's a useful hat. Why not? And tactical insertion, which means you can spawn wherever, and it's the same as always. Yeah. All yeah, right. A little flashlight. Now we get to perks. Perks. There are three tiers again, and they're very weird because perks this year don't make any difference to your gun or how you your fi you fire your gun. That's mm -hmm. what the attachments do now. So these are just to increase your abilities to do stuff. Okay. So tier one, lightweight, move faster, no full damage, flak jacket, less explosive damage, blind eye, AI controlled support can't see you, but player sub controlled support can. Okay. Hardline bonus points for positive actions, faster score streak progression. Okay. And ghost, which means UAV can't see you when you're moving. So if you're camping, again, you get no help. Yeah? Okay. There are no pro perks in this game. All right, so... Okay. Tier 2, hardwired, which makes you immune to counter UAV and EMPs. 
Alright. Scavenger, replenish, uh, re replenish ammo and grenades from bags. I like it, scavenger. And explosive kills don't produce bags this time. Yeah? Okay. So if you get blown up, no bag. No bag. Cold blooded, um, blind to targeting systems including player controlled air support. Alright. So I'm not sure why they're doing this. There seems to be three that feel the same thing. Mm -hmm. Blind eye ghost and cold blooded. <coughs> Fast hands, which means you can swap between weapons faster. And throw back grenades easier. Okay, that's always useful to have. It, if you can't think of anything else to use, that's probably a safe option. Mm -hmm. And toughness, which means you flinch less from each time you're shot. <laughs> Tier 3. Dexterity, which means you have faster climbing, which is 50% faster. Faster aiming and recovery from knife lunges, so it's just you move faster, I think, with action. Sure, you're basically on steroids. It's a lightweight on that, you'll be just like... <laughs> you'll be like Nyanka, You'll be the basically. Flash. Yeah. You'll be the Flash. Um, uh, en engineer. Engineer is a tier three. And really? that's, that means enemy equipment glows, explosives are delayed, booby trap care packages is what you can do, and you can re-roll your care packages. And you can put down sentry guns and teleports and dispensers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Dead silence, which means you have silent footsteps, silent jumps, and silent falls. Okay. Like an assassin. Yeah, like, again, Assassin's Creed. Or a Templar. Ooh. <laughs> Extreme conditioning, <laughs> two times longer sprinting. Tactical mask reduces the effect of flash, concussion, and shock charges. Awareness, which makes the enemies louder. So that's going to be for the pros, really, who have headsets and they're focused entirely on sound whoring out their enemies. <laughs> now, <laughs> wild cards. That, this should be the, the wicked end. Wango cards. We finally got here after 20 minutes of talking. Yes. Well, mostly you talking. Yeah, mostly me, because. God damn, I need a break after this. Wild cards, you have three wild card slots, but again, you you only use as many as you need, and they're one point each. Primary gunfighter, which means you can have a third attachment, oh, oh. but you still have to pay for the third attachment. Yeah. So that's going to be like two points rather than okay. just the one. Secondary gunfighter, which means you can have a second attachment on your secondary weapon. Oh, oh. Overkill, two primary weapons, they brought that back again, which... I've always liked. You can go around. So you with can have three guns. Two guns. Okay. Your secondary oh, primary right. weapon. I, I think understand. that's what it does anyway. That's what it seems to. Perk one greed, extra perk one slot. Perk two greed, extra perk two slot. Perk three greed, extra perk three slot. Yeah. Yeah. Danger close. You can take second lethal equipment. Ooh. So that's the grenade. Sounds sexy. And tactician, which means you can have a second tactical grenade, but then no lethal equipment. So I'm just looking at overkill because I'm liking the sound of that. <laughs> so, that so basically, if I used overkill, I can have my shield and I can have an assault rifle. I think so. Oh, 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 oh. The possibilities are endless. That's a quote from somewhere. Yes, it is. I'm trying to remember where. And now, on. what we're going to have to do is just say well done to you if you've survived this onslaught. Yeah. This, and also if you've played Assassin's Creed Three. Yeah, shout well out to Assassin's you. Creed Three being amazing again. Yeah. Although I don't know the single player yet, and you better shut up about it. Oh, when you when you listen to this video after after you started playing it, you're gonna go, oh, I'm gonna kill Chris. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> thanks for staying alive throughout this. Yeah. And tune in next week for the hopefully shorter, and hopefully as good video about what is it? Gameplay, game types, and score streak. Yes. So and we'll see you next word. week. Beware Benjamin Franklin! <laughs> <laughs>